Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be doing a full makeup look from eyes to base to everything. So stick around. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. If you are not new, then hey girl, how you doing? I hope you've had a good week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and yeah, let's just get right into it. So I usually like to start off with like a foundation before I do my eyes and then I go back to my face. My order is a little bit unusual to some, but for me it just works perfectly well. So yeah, I'm going to start off with priming my base. I'm actually going to use a different primer today. I'm using the Murad Invisible Primer. This is like a sample size. I do have another like smaller bottle, but yeah, I really love using this like around my pores area, especially when I feel like it needs a bit of blurring. So yeah, I'm going to put this in this area here i don't like to use primers that will dry out my skin but obviously i have already done like my skincare prep and all of that so we are all good to go on that front so i've already prepped my base i'm gonna go in with my foundation um i've been loving using this combo together it's the nars longwear radiant foundation and the fenty beauty soft matte pro filter foundation i know i haven't used this on camera for over a year now but I have actually been loving it off camera so I'm gonna go in with that and I really enjoy using a sponge for this foundation so I'm just gonna go right ahead I usually focus most of the coverage on like the lower part of my face because I feel like that's where I need the most anyway can you just see how smooth my skin is looking right now absolutely love it anyways moving on to the eyes I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Revolution Ultimate Canvas, Ultimate Eye Base, sorry. Look how hooded my eyes are, look. Can you still see the thing? <laughs> I'm gonna be using two different palettes, just kind of going it to different shades that I wanna go for. But I'm gonna first start off with the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Palette, and I'm gonna grab this shade right here. Just put that in my upper crease area. I'm just gonna start off by patting it in because the base is still slightly wet so i'm unable to just go in and blend straight away and then i'm gonna go into this big morphe palette this is the artistry palette and gosh it is so big let me just see if i can show you guys the shades i'm just going to apply this shade here and just pack it in basically here and i'm not really gonna focus too much on blending at the moment i just want to pack those shades there and just blend and then i'm gonna go into this dark green well it's not really a dark green but i'm gonna go into this green shade here and put that on my outer corner oh that does look quite nice actually mm, i like that okay pretty happy with how that's looking and then for the inner part of my eyes i'm gonna go into the huda beauty palette and use this shade here i'm just gonna pack that on here really loving the contrast of these two shades together absolutely love how that's looking okay so that's pretty much the eyes i'm gonna do my lower lash line a little bit later i'm just gonna quickly do my other eye and i will be right back pretty happy with how the eyes are looking at the moment and i'm gonna come back to them shortly i'm gonna do the rest of my face um i actually found the concealer shade okay firstly for my concealer i'm gonna use the elf camo concealer this is the hydrating one and i remember in my review video i couldn't find the other shade because i remember getting four and that shade that was missing was deep olive and i only just found it like the other day so i'm gonna use that today but i'm gonna mix it with deep chestnut so deep chestnut and deep olive is what i'm gonna use today i feel like i haven't used these concealers in quite a bit i've really been loving the Too Faced Born This Way concealer you guys are probably bored of seeing me use that <laughs> but yeah if it works for me then I kind of just like to stick to it to be honest but yeah anyway so we're going to use the elf one today because it also does do a fantastic job you can see deep olive the undertone is very much on the olive side but I've mixed it with deep chestnut so I think it, we're going to get a good decent shade here so I'm going to blend this out with my sponge i always struggle to get right under this side for some weird reason i'm not really feeling to do like a cream contour today so or a cream bronze 
so I'm actually just gonna leave that out today and just focus on like bronzing with a powder instead as per usual I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder um, and I'm gonna go in with the original shade not the honey shade because otherwise I think we're gonna just be too yellow and really not going for that look today on top of that I am gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury powder this is in the shade tan the airbrush flawless one but I'm gonna use it with a sponge today not so much like right under the eye because I don't want to promote any creasing but just here oh that looks good oh gosh really don't need to do too much else with that pretty happy with how that's looking for my lower lash line I'm gonna start off with that same transition shade that I used on my top lash on my <laughs> on my top lash I'm gonna use the same transition shade basically that I used in my crease just sort of as a base of the other colours that I want to put on and then I want to go in with this green shade from the Morphe palette it's oh gosh this palette is so flavored it's hard to pick shades out I'm gonna go in with this green shade here mm, okay that's perfect Okay, I really like how that's coming out. It actually does look a little bit lighter in a pan though. I really want to put some sort of like a mint green on my inner tear ducts, but I've just checked the palettes that I have around me and they don't have like a mint green. I think I need to actually get more colourful palettes because now that I want to kind of dive into a bit more colour, a lot of my palettes have some colour, but they're mostly neutral palettes. Um, yeah, I don't think I have like anything like that. So pretty much gonna leave it as it is for the eyes um for my base i'm gonna go with my charlotte tilbury bronzer you guys probably already know this has kind of been a favorite of mine at the moment i do have other bronzers that i want to use but because the undertone is not really what i want to go for at the moment especially in this type of season um charlotte tilbury just gives me what i'm looking for so we are gonna stick to her as an add-on i'm really feeling like mocha mummy at the moment so i'm gonna go ahead with that on top of what i've just put but i'm gonna use it with like a fluffy brush so it's not as like dense if that makes sense so you can see that just adds a little touch of warmth for my highlighter i'm just gonna go in with what i've been using at the moment and the name has rubbed off so i really can't tell you too much about that but you can go in with whatever highlighter you want to use this shade is just like the perfect highlighter shade for me at the moment okay so i'm not wearing any eyelashes because i can't find a specific lashes that i want to go for and yes i just thought i'd just put mascara on today instead but for my lips mm, i kind of want to do some like something a little bit different to like my usual because obviously i always use like nude lips it is pretty much still going to be a nude lip but with a little something to it but anyways for my lips I'm going to use um, this liquid lipstick by Coloured Rain in the shade whatever to line my lips. It's sort of like a brown with a red undertone. And then on top of that I'm going to use, this is from Lottie London, I think it's called Squad, I'm not 100% sure but just yeah Lottie London Slay All Day Liquid Lipstick and I believe this is in the shade Squad. Just going to put that on top as a base and with a brush I'm going to get the Morphe lipstick in Boo. I just really like the undertone so it's more like a warm undertone rather than a cool undertone i do want to go over that with a lip gloss so i'm going to use the fenty gloss bomb the original on this with the same brush so i added the mac oh baby lip gloss on top and this is the finished look absolutely loving it the green and orange is just my vibe at the moment especially during this autumn season these are the colors that i'm sort of feeling even without lashes i still think with this mascara it looks pretty good the mascara that i've been using is the huda beauty legit lashes mascara i did review this in a previous video if you haven't seen it i will link it up here somewhere but this is my favorite uh, mascara and i find that no other mascara gets my lashes 
the way they are at the moment so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to click that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and also check out some of my previous videos i will leave them here or here on the screen somewhere and of course i hope that i will see you all in my next video bye